person. Next person. Next person. Bharad Vajasan, number one. Unfold, unroll your blanket. Fold it. Sit in dan, sitting in Dandasan, just watch. Sitting in Dandasan. Take your legs to the left. Left shin just above the ankle in the arch of the right foot. Now wait. That's where you go. See, that's, that's very, for me, difficult. Now, that's why I cannot finish the cycle what I've given. Because they're all sometimes disturb me. Now he said, turn the foot. Right? Which part of the foot touch, did you say? I didn't say. Can you say now? Now, say, get up again. And start with, how do you turn? Uh, which is the brain? Bottom foot or the top foot? Bottom foot. Uh, bottom foot. Is your foot placed correctly? The sensation is there. The skin is pricking, the flesh. Hmm. Huh? Is it correct then? If it is pricking, something is wrong. Hmm. Is it pricking or not still? Not now. Huh? I don't feel the pricking now. Take the little toe, stretch the little toe towards me with your hand. Uh, now watch the foot bone, brain. Is it touching the ground or not? Yes. I, I gave the clue. The bone is a, the foot bone is the brain of the foot. The foot bone was not placed, it was pricking. So I said with little toe, I made the foot bone to rest on the floor. That is known as subtlety of the asana. You don't know the subtle parts of the asana. And now, turn. Take the blanket under the right hip. So the buttock. Now, now what happened to this foot? Lost. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> but he's continuing. So what I say? Establish that. Use the blanket. It has changed. So readjust the pose. Then proceed. That's known as pause, in between. So pressing that outer foot bone into the floor, take the blanket, uh, take the blanket under the buttock, makes a big difference. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Okay. So the hips come nearly level. Lift the side trunk. If you draw in on the outer hip sockets, make the hips compact like in Shirshasana, the side trunk comes up. And then with exhalation, bring the right side of the waist around to the left, Bring the, sorry, left hand, left side of the waist around to the right. Take the left hand to the right knee. Right hand alongside, lifting the side trunk. Now where the mistake came, you people don't know. The contact of the ankle on his foot disappeared. Before turning, come to the original. What is the contact of the ankle on your foot arch? It's heavy. Huh? It's heavy. Perfect. Now when you turn... Fix up. And so the mistake began or not? So you are continuing the mistake without watching. And you say, I'm doing very well. <laughs> and that is how you can see some of the pictures in yoga journal. <laughs> huh? Exhi Please, you know, asanas, exhibitive presentation is sensual presentation. Here, exhibitiveness is not there. Inhibitiveness is there. So please notice the difference. Inhibitiveness is going inside the body. The exhibitiveness is bringing the mind outside the body. Expressing. So if the ankle comes out, it becomes exhibition, exhibitionism. And now try Without shaking, you have to turn. That's all the secret. <laughs> mm. Keeping the outer foot bone of the bottom foot and the shin of the top foot heavy. Turn the trunk. Now see how many mistakes we commit. I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, please don't laugh. It's a serious subject. You can, I tell you, you, you will not know as you turn in, the nail on the top, big nail of the top foot is also rolling. Is it right? So you are turning the spine or you are turning the toe? I'm turning the toe. Huh? I turn the toe. Uh, can you see now? So is it a correct direction to know the asana? 
So, so that, now, you have to say, keep that nail in contact with the floor, top nail base, and then turn. Then only the trunk will turn, not the leg. And can you see now? So there is no exhibitionism because everything becomes slow. The, the, the teacher said do slowly, externally. I never said do slowly. The body moves slowly. Now see, if you want, now disturb the nail and turn. I said disturb the nail and then turn. What you did? You moved. Move your old way. Do your old way. Can you see the speed? Now cut that nail. Uh, can you move fast like that? No. No. Have to move slow. So hope you get this. In all the asanas you have to learn. This is the foundation for t lateral movement. So if the foundation asana goes wrong, all your other following asanas go wrong. So each asana has got a base. So that there is room for you to understand. And now turn. And here, you have to see, am I doing right or wrong? See the lateral trunk. Both lateral trunk should run parallel to each other. That is his adjustment. Come on. Ah, that way. Ah, now you make them do, don't repeat on the other side. Come on. Okay. They, they have to repeat on the other side. Make them do. Make them do. Okay. Go to your places. They have not done That's one what side Because it is going very slow. I told them yesterday also intermediate points, let's say left. But your intermediate points are too long. Mm -hmm. Here they have come to learn what is right asana, not the stages. Sit in Dandasan. I know have, that. What can I have do? Have your blanket to the right. What can I do? Later on, I will take another few minutes more. Trip. See how much time you are wasting? They're still wiggling around out there. If they don't listen, I will go fast to the class. I carry a pin for you people. You should be as alert as I am. Follow? You cannot play, take your own time. Take your own time at home, not here. Now take, take, the legs, take the legs to the left. Left shin in the arch of the right foot. That outer bone of the right foot, the bottom foot, press down. Center that bone, exact. Then shin, uh, then big toe of the left foot, firm on the floor. Keep that firmness of the outer bottom foot bone and the top foot, big toe uh, nail, <laughs> Never mind. and the then pick up your hip, I do, I, I follow. don't shift, don't shift the bones, I follow the difficulties, and no. take the blanket under the buttock, they have to lock both the knee, knee patellas, while turning, patella should not shake, uh, so thighs are parallel, patella is steady as you turn, or as you take the blanket, firm knees to rotate, now keeping that outer foot bone firm and stretching the big toe, exhale, turn toward the right. Don't shake the feet. Toenail of the left foot still stretching back. Left hand, catch the right knee. Now which sides of the body is long, which side is short? Do not lift the top leg up while turning. You have to sink the top leg thigh to the ground to turn. Left thigh descend, left buttock bone descend. Top leg stable. Keeping that top leg stable. Draw the right side ribs in. Take the left side ribs taller. Right side is longer than the left. And keeping that evenness, that parallelity in the sides of the trunk. Just wait. Please do not turn the body with your flesh. Turn the skin. Maximum revolve the skin. Can I disconnect the skin from the flesh and then turn. And then do with the flesh once. Then release the flesh, then do what once with the skin. Alternatively go on doing. One skin movement, one flesh movement. One skin movement, one flesh movement. You turn more.
you have to jam like that. Jam the thigh. Keeping the left, keeping the left side ribs That's tall here. as you turn. Then turn. Take the left shoulder blade deep in. What you are doing. Turn the left side of this sternum toward the right side of the sternum. Stop. Take the side ribs up once again. Skin, lift. And then turn the sternum. Then exhale, come back to front. Take the legs out. Take the blanket out. Come forward. Change sides. Sit, put both legs Take the inside. feet over to the right. One by one. That's the same. Outer foot bone of the yeah, bottom yeah. foot press. Nail of the top foot, no, big no. toe, reach back. Then the so shin becomes heavy in the bottom the foot. See the hardness. Put the leg inside. Patel is steady. Kneecap steady. Without shaking the feet or the knees, take the blanket right under the, the left hip. Right in the thighs. And now do. As you sit on the blanket. Which is better? Right Which thigh bone, descend. Right buttock right bone, toward the floor. Go on stretching the big toenail of the top foot back. Outer, outer foot bone of the bottom foot into the floor. Lift the side trunk, exhale, turn to the left. Right thigh bone heavy as you turn. You Don't lift him? there. Why are you following him? Bring the right hand across. Why the is here? Now wait there. Measure the two sides of the body. Equalize left side, right side. By taking the left side in, right side comes up. Stretch the skin of the sides of the body up. And then exhaling, turn. Right side of the waist, bring around to the left. Keep the right buttock heavy as you turn the right side of the waist to the left. The child inside also. Okay. Okay. The Go on equalizing the two sides of the trunk. What you are doing was the turning comes better. Again, lift the sides of the trunk. As you release the breath, turn. Just wait. Now take your right shoulder blade. Draw it back no. close to the spine. Then boom, down boom, the back, boom. near the spine. You are Keeping boom. that shoulder blade near the spine. Exhaling, dig that shoulder blade in. Turn the right side of the sternum toward the left. Lift both sides of the sternum evenly, evenly as you turn from the right to the left. Relax your throat. Relax your tongue. How they, they, as you love, the child is laughing inside. They all are doing from this. Descending the right buttock, descending the right thigh, create more height on the right side. And then again, digging the right shoulder blade in, more turn can come. John, you have taken too long for Bharadvajasana. Exhale, come back to the front. Finish. It's skin. Yeah. I'm finished. You should be soft. <laughs> Only take Marichasan, Ardhavachan I cannot give today. No, the height should be increasing still. I can see the tightness, right? You can't feel it. The very appearance tells me that something is wrong. They have to turn it on over there, I think. So, and now see. Uh, now, now do. Now, now, what happened now? In Marichiasan, you bend one leg. So the base of the pose is one straight leg and the other bent leg. The bent leg pushes you back a little bit. So what when you now? bend the leg, take care and to don't relax don't the groin so that something you can happened. bend the leg in so without yourself? going backwards. Then restabilize so that the bent leg and the standing leg equally support the connection from the buttocks. And then you turn. Turn from the sides. And then once the turn is started, and you can release the skin from the flesh and the flesh from the skin, then you can go a little farther. So you can lift up from the buttock bones, 
pressing again down with the big toe mound, the outside of the foot, the crown of the heel. From there you can turn and take your arm across. First of all, you have to explain to them what's the difference between Bharadvajasana and Marichyasana. First of all, when, when we just did Bharadvajasana and the body was easy to turn because it... No, don't say body is easy to... That's again yeah. your... You have to go find out the source of action. There's an effect of the asana. So in Bharadvajasana when... No, let me know because they don't know it, okay. so it's not good. When you do Bharadvajasana, it's a concave movement of the spine. In Marichasana, it's a convex lateral movement. So one is a concave lateral movement, and another is a convex lateral movement. So that's why the yogis educate in convex movement what are the behavioral patterns of the spinal muscles. In concave action, lateral movement, what are the functions of the muscles of the spinal vertebra. So this is what the asanas are given to learn for us. But don't consider that Bharadvajasana is a fine first pose, but the convex back lateral movement is very difficult. Concave is easy. That's why she said the chest rotated. Follow me? That is, I did not use my intelligence to know why it is rotated. I have to find out why it is rotated. That's why they call, I've told them to take Marichyasana because Ardhamatsindrasana, Pashasana and Bharadvajasana are concave lateral movements. It's only Marichyasana is the only one which has got a convex lateral movement. So you have to know the differences between this asana and that asana. And in Bharadvajasana, you turn the lumbar. Follow? In Ardhamatsindrasana, you turn the lower lumbar and thoracic dorsal. Bharadvajasana, you don't turn the, the, the dorsal area much. Because there is no resistance. So that's why the gradation comes. So what do you learn from Bharadvajasana? The lumbar which, is, which normally moves. So you learn to educate them what is the range of movement it gives. In Ardhamatsyandrasana, then you say what is the range which increases from Bharadvajasana. Whereas if you go to Pashasana, it further increases. That means your mind is brain and mind is taken inside the body to observe the movement of the action of the spine. That's why they are graded. Peripurna Matsyandrasana, I'm sure that no chance one, one in hundred may do, one in thousand may do. And that's why once they, you must have heard Dhirendra Brahma said, I'm not explaining Peripurna Matsyandrasana because nobody can do. But I have given it in my book which you all know. So, hello? So there's an escapism. All cannot do it, so I'm not giving. But give a thought, because Hatha Yoga Pradipika does not speak of Adha Matsyandrasana. It only speaks of Paripurna Matsyandrasana. Hence, we have to know. So that's how they, they, they grade it downwards in order to reach Paripurna Matsyandrasana. Hatha Yoga does not speak of Adha Matsyandrasana. It only speaks of Paripurna Matsyandrasana. All cannot do it. It's a fact. But probably in those days they were doing it. That's why they gave that asana. So, uh, Marichasana. Now, she said, bend your leg. And now do the pose. Now, see how difficult to turn the back? Is it easy like Bhajavajasana? No, sir. Uh, now, some people uh, in Western countries, still it is difficult. Now, see what I do sometimes, I, te I teach wrong pose. What happened? Uh, now, after the game, I will not disturb... Then I moved my spine, now let me take my leg in. But if I teach like that, my pupils go on teaching, keep the legs apart and go on doing it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but they do not tell them, please come back to the original state. <laughs> because it needed only to rotate. Now for example, they cannot rotate, you can see, it cannot rotate. See the navel is not at all coming out. Now see, let's try and angle. Now turn. See the navel comes out. Then I've moved the navel. That job is over. Now let me do the next one. Come on, turn. Now the plank I said, remember? The lateral movement is the side. So turn the side rib skin. 
the movement comes. Always learn to move the skin first. Do not touch the flesh. If you write a love letter, without opening the envelope, can you read the love letter? <laughs> huh? So you have to open the envelope first, the skin. So open the skin. <laughs> Then she can read the love letter of the other body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay. And now you can, don't waste time, make them to do a final pose, please. Sit on a blanket. Sit down quickly. Hey, Stephanie, don't take Mary Chasson for them. Mary Chasson one, not three. Stretch On the your... chair. They don't know. Ground the crown of your heel. Ground your buttock bones. Bend your right leg. When you bend it, release the groin so the leg doesn't push you backwards. And bring the foot to rest. Then turn. Now take your left leg out to the side uh, so that you can feel no, how I, the I said, that's what I releases. said to you people, Devon. Please sit on the chair. Now move from the side. No, side, side. Move from the side. Take no. your left arm no. this on leg, the outside one leg up. edge of your right leg. Uh, now hold Wait it. There. Turn the up. One. Keep the hand here. Now turn from the skin and first. Outer. Uh, once you've turned from the skin, then take your shoulder blades down and then bring your left leg back in line so that it actually furthers the t- like My friend, they're all going. Seventh one, the eighth one, so I have to be very careful. Yes, I understand. Stretch your left leg down to the floor. No, don't floor. put it down. Just keep it on your the right top. foot yeah. onto the floor. Just put it there. Don't put it your down. left forearm down. No. That's take That's advantage of the support this. of your limbs. To free your body to turn. And turn from here. Turn first from the skin, then turn from the flesh. Mm. Alternate mm. from the I'll skin, and then from the flesh. Inside the, inside the knee. Move from the outside yeah, of the body. The Move from the ribs. Oh, let the ribs turn your spine. Mm. As you, you let the ribs you turn your spine, floor. stay again, free. reframe the pose from your left crown of your heel, and from both buttock bones. The more they turn, it's fixed. Open your chest to your collarbones. Adjust a little back and forth from your buttock bones. Don't stay solid on one buttock bone, but find out how to distribute your body lift from both. No, you are giving too long explanation. And then release. No, just do it, I tell you. Do the pose. Spread your leg apart, that leg apart. Roll the trunk from the lower end. Uh, jam your, jam your arm against the knee. Uh, be strong only there. Pacify the skin of the trunk and with an exhalation, each exhalation revolve. Exhale, turn. Inhale, wait. Exhale, turn. Inhale, wait. One skin, one flesh. And now bring the st- stunted leg in, the, in line to your trunk. Now press that heel, inner heel of the extended leg. Exhale, turn. Now is it coming more or less? Now the other side. Mm, correct. Be in Dadasan. If you do, huh? Use your hands, lift There's your no chest. Kitchen, just like that. Bend your left leg. Bend straight up. You use your some brain. She Turn to your she can also do like this. Side. Take your arm over the side. Only a little touch here and you go rotating here, not here. Now roll your abdomen. Roll your body. They have to roll to in or left. out. Roll out. Ah, say like that. Roll out. <laughs> and don't forget about your back. So your back can roll back so that there's a circular action. Now, take your right leg out to the side, and then roll again your abdomen. 
and roll your lower back back so that your left side of your abdomen back comes to your abdomen. Uh, now stay steady. Don't shake on your left inner now heel. Now all, all of you stay like that. Next step I'll give you. Don't forget that. Now jam your elbow against the thighs. Press that finger on the floor. Loose arm. Now take like Pashima Parasan. Take the hip muscle of the extended leg into your body. And then from the inner groin, of the inner groin of the extended leg, stretch the spine. Is it coming more or less? More. 